Hey, mister, how are you? What's up, Brian? What's up, Guillermo? Gary? Hey, good evening. Good evening, mister. How are you? Everything all right. What Thank about you? you? I'm all Did right. you watch the match? No. No, and, and it's a good thing I didn't. Yes. <laughs> it's pretty good you didn't see it. I, I heard that Barcelona is so, so bad now that uh, they're this close to being a very good match. One, four. That part. <laughs> After the, the third uh, goal, I turned off the TV. It was a terrible game. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. I think it's over, man. You know, one thing, one thing, I love Messi, I love... But one thing I really do respect about Cristiano Ronaldo is that Cristiano Ronaldo has that leader character. Oh. You know, like, come on, come on, and, you know. And Messi, no, he's just very, very passive. I guess, yes. But it's his it's, it's character, I think, I guess. Yeah. Guillermo, I have a question. Do you play the guitar? Yeah, sometimes I do. Yeah, I uh, have one here. Yeah, I saw it in the back. <laughs> what kind yeah. of music do you play? Well, I like the old music and also rock in Spanish. That's great. Yeah, you know, for example, well, actually old bands like Enanito Verdes, El yeah. Silencio, things like that. And also... Uh, all the stereo. Alternative rock, yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't <laughs> like all the stereo. Really? <laughs> Yeah, I know everybody goes, oh my god. What? <laughs> but you know, it's it's like Era del Silencio. They have uh, some specific songs that they played and played and played and played. Wow, it, you, it's like there's, we have too much of that, but there are uh, many songs that no, no, not a lot of people know that are very, very good. That's yeah, true. The same I saw, I saw Era del Silencio in concert. Now, oh, really? really? Wow. Yeah. yeah that was I good. Attend when, they, they, when they when they came, came to El Salvador? Yeah, a long yeah. time ago. So did I. Oh, you were there? Yes. At the yeah. Ignacio Nacional, right? Yeah. I remember yeah. he was wearing like silver pants. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> but that was maybe in 1986 no, or like, seven. No, it was like 1996, 97, yeah. Something. Uh -huh. I wasn't born. <laughs> no. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Brian. you Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you I don't have to say that. <laughs> I mean, I like Eros and Silencio. They're okay, but I prefer I prefer Enrique Bumburi as solo. Oh, yes. Yeah. Really? Dance. He has very Enrique good songs. Bumburi. Yes. You see, I think. But, okay, the reason why I don't like the cure, I'm sorry, uh, Soda Stereo is because they were like a big imitation of many bands. But I imagine that the uh, the company, the, the discography, they told them, no, you have to act like this and paint like that. And, but, but they're okay. Yeah, that, that, yeah that's right. They were... Uh show however uh Gustavo Cerati he wrote very very good songs he was he an did. excellent right yeah I like Cafeta Cuba man. oh yeah Cafe mm -hmm. is a good I've yeah. seen them in concert like three times I was a tercio pelados Ooh, a tercio pelados. many people. Was, they came one time a uh, tercio pelados Molotov I don't know which one was the other group I Cafeta saw the... Cuba. No, I went when Cafe Tacuba and Atercio Pelados came. I went with a, with Molotov and Atercio Pelados, I guess. You know, maybe I know you, Cari. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we met in some concert, right? Yeah. I, I bet you, I bet you, if I look for you on Facebook, we have many friends in common. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I imagine because it's, it's usually that same group. Um, remember mm -hmm. Vilma Palma Vampiros? Yeah, ah, that was a good one. Really a very good group. Yeah. Have you I heard about like them, them, Brian? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> right now, there's a group I really like. Um, I mean, rock, pop rock, but they're Jenny and the Mexicats. They're good. <laughs> oh, not enough. Yeah, watch them. It's not enough. I'm okay. not heard them. Uh, if you can't, yes, you have. You know, Actually, it's, it's very yeah, curious yeah. because she's from England, right? She's from England. The lady is from England. Yeah. But she sings okay. Spanish perfectly. She sings Spanish, yeah. And she plays the trumpet. <laughs> the trumpet, and, yeah. And, and the guitarist is from Spain and the other mm -hmm. guy is from Mexico. Mm -hmm. So they are a Mexican band, but they're different. That's why Mexicans. I like her. They're cool. She's nice. She's, she's very pretty. Mm -hmm. And of course, I love, really, really don't laugh. I love Juan Gabriel. No, he, it's a good one. He is the master. I saw yes. him in concert too. Oh. Before, mm -hmm. when I was single, I used to go to many concerts. <laughs> yeah. The last concert I think I went to was Aerosmith. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> you know, it was funny because I became famous that day. Did you see somebody in the newspaper with a Jason mask? I don't remember. <laughs> it was I, you? Yeah, I went. I, it, it, was funny. <laughs> it was funny because I painted my nails black. You know, my nails were black. And I, got, I went with a Jason mask and a big, big pancard that said, you know, uh, Prohibido reggaeton, you know. <laughs> <laughs> everybody, everybody was taking pictures with me. Really? You know, oh. Even the, even the police took pictures with me. The funny you need part to was show a picture. Yes. Uh, yeah. You, the funny part was that uh, it was on a Friday. I remember because on the next Saturday I had a class. And I asked my wife, Mira, me puedes dar el, ¿cómo se llama? For, to erase the, the nails. The, uh, acetona. acetona. No, no, quite small. Yes, acetona, right? Oh. I told, and I asked my wife, hey, give me acetona. And she says, I don't have any. I said, what? Yeah. <laughs> in, 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 where I, in the institution where I was working, I had to go with a tie, you know? So I can't <laughs> go like this to my class. <laughs> So I, so I remember I was very like oh, worried. So, but I found uh -huh. um, a pharmacy that they sold. Uh -huh. But the funny part was <laughs> too that I mean I took a shower and everything that day. But teacher, you look different. I'm like, no, why? Why do I look different? Um, <laughs> I forgot. I put I put makeup. Oh, oh <laughs> terrible. Yeah, that I forgot. I put eyeliner. Eyeliner, yeah. Well, you see, because since I had the Jason, the Jason mask, I put I put yes. the, you know, I painted, you know. So I only raised the makeup when I was taking a shower, but I forgot the eyeliner. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so there was no use of me erasing my nails because my students saw my eyes. And, but they looked at me weird. I said, okay, wait, wait, let me explain. It's not what you think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I said, yesterday. Uh, I exciting went. night. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know, they were like, teacher, where'd you go? No, wait, I'm sorry. I went to the concert. <laughs> yeah. Because I remember when I was 15, I, you know, I, 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 I've traveled frequently to the United States and uh, I used to have long hair. I had purple, green hair, blue hair, pink hair, every. Wow. Every color. Yeah. So it was normal. Mm -hmm. But I mean, <gasps> but now I'm old, you know, and, but I, I just wanted to relive the rock and roll. <laughs> so I think it was. Great. <laughs> yes. You know, do you know the wrestling, the WWE? Mm -hmm. No. Yes. The, the wrestlers, La Lucha Libre, when they came, uh. when, when they came, there was a funny part because there is this wrestler, his name is Rey Mysterio. Okay. And he took off his shirt and, you know, and I was, nobody went with me. Nobody wanted to go. You know, I called my friends, hey, but why Lucha Libre, you're crazy. That's a lie. That's a show. Come on, let's go watch. 
So I went alone and I remember Rey Mysterio threw the shirt and I jumped and I caught it. <gasps> but the bottom part of my elbow, this little kid next to me, he was maybe 10, you know, and he got the bottom, you know, he was pulling my shirt. And I said, no. Hmm. You know, and the little kid started crying, hmm. like really, really crying. Uh. And the mother, you know, the complete night, I had to hear the mother. Sí, porque hay gente que no le importa actúan como niños y están viejos. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but she thought, she thought I was going to give the little kid the shirt. I said, no, I caught it. I have the shirt. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> yes. And my wife told me, that's why I did not want to go with you. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I still act like a little boy <laughs> but it's fun yes all right okay let me pull up the da, 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 da. <sighs> it's been very hot today huh mm, yeah mm, yes yes it's sunny and sunny yeah oh my god did you watch the news about that that woman, the politician that she killed a, a gram officer. Yes. Yeah, I was oh, reading yeah. that. That was yeah. sad, man. Really, really sad. And you know the sad part that nothing's gonna happen to her if she pays the family. You know? Yeah, right. That's pobrecito, man. Let me see. Okay, so do you see my screen? No. No, no yet. yet, teacher. Okay, let me open it. Let me open it. You know who else I like? I like Tigres del Norte. Really? Yes, really. Yeah. Uh -huh. What about the concert, Tigres del Norte and Friends? Uh, no, but I saw I, I saw Tigres del Norte but, um, in San Miguel. There is a, oh, there is a, it was a free there is a song. In that concert, there is a song that they play with uh, Zach de la Rocha. Wow, it's very, very good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Have you heard the song that they dedicate to El Salvador? No. No. What is it? You never heard it? No. Yes. I, didn't know. I didn't know. What, what is that? It's a very good song. It's called Tres Veces Mojado. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, oh, yeah. I have heard it yeah. It's very no, famous. I don't, yeah. I don't know. Uh, listen to it, Juana. It's very interesting because they said that. Okay, wait. The reason why I like Tigres del Norte, I remember once <laughs> a long, long, long time ago. <laughs> I was in a, in a coaster. In a coaster, in a bus, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, and then the song started, you know, in La Puerta de la Iglesia, yo era un niño, boom, boom, boom. And I was sitting like right under the, the speaker. So I was like, oh my God, what another, like this is ugly music, ugly music. But I have no option and I listened to the song. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my God, that's so sad. <laughs> and I had to get off, but I didn't want to get off because I wanted to hear how the song ended. Uh. So in that time, it was very popular to buy the CDs quemados, the bootleg. Yeah. And I said, hey, do you have Tigres del Norte? Do you have that song of the boy in the church? See, what is the name of that song? El Niño y la Iglesia. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I, I, I got that CD and, and I listened. And it's, it's really a story. Every song is a story. It was, it was good. Yeah. Yeah. But they were saying, I was, I was reading an interview because Tres Veces Mojado, you know, what's the story about that song? And he said that one time that they were eating in a restaurant in, in Los Angeles. And the waiter was Salvadorian. And when the waiter was serving them, he said, hey, I like your music because I am a mojado too. And you sing about mojados. Mm -hmm. And then the waiter told him, Imagine me, I am tres veces mojado. <laughs> because oh. I went illegally, I crossed Guatemala, Mexico, and United States. And in the Tigres del Norte, they said, hey, this is true because we only speak about mojados Mexicans. 
So they never imagined, yeah, you know, it's true. It, so they, they wrote that song, you know, thinking of him. It's a good song. Mm, okay. There's a part that I like. It says, eh, como dice, es lindo México, pero como cuánto sufrí. Los veces me salvé que me tiran preso. Si el mismo idioma y color les reflejé. Porque me dicen extranjero. Something like that. Mm, okay. you know, it's, it's a good song. But I like music. I like everything. I like Mozart. Oh, mm -hmm. good. Yeah, I like Beethoven. I prefer Wagner. <laughs> oh, you do? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I like Mozart. He was younger. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. It was crazy. You should you should hear the that concert. They played their songs, but with uh, another singers. For example, they played with Zac de la Rocha, with uh, Rene Perez. Uh, yeah, with Paulina Rubio. Andres Calamaro. Andres Calamaro. Oh, man. I love Calamaro, man. Yeah, yeah, very good songs. <laughs> okay, let. Now you see my screen, correct? No, yet. not yet. Really? Yeah. Why not? Okay, let me see. What about now? Yes. It's loading. Yes, loading. Okay. right now, yes. Okay. All right, exploring possibilities. Let's watch this. We are in 4.7. That's where we finished yesterday. Organize, explore, make, solve. Oh, actually, that's what we did Nouns. yesterday. Exactly, remember. A mistake. Yes. A situation. Mm -hmm. so let's go on to the next. Alternatives. Point. Information. A problem. A solution. Possibilities. Let's discuss some questions, then ask your partner. Don't forget to use the new vocabulary. When you make decisions, do you explore all the possibilities first? Who do you talk to when you need to find a solution to an important problem? When was the last time you analyzed a mistake you made? What did you learn from it? Okay, now we have non-defined relative clauses. Lab compu uh, laptop computers are easy to carry, which is why Many people travel with one. So here is which, which is why. So We're let's watch this. We're about to finish advance two, which means you're a step closer to complete your English course. Pay attention to the last topic. Non-defining relative clauses as sentence modifiers. You can use non-defining relative clauses with which to make a comment about an entire sentence. I have three cats, which means there's usually a lot of cat fur on my clothes. My roommate is a slob, which is why I want to get my own apartment. Non-defining relative clauses as sentence modifiers. In these relative clauses, the relative pronoun which refers not to a particular noun, but to the whole idea in the main clause. Non-defining relative clauses are always the second clause in a two-clause sentence. Because these clauses are non-defining, they are set off from the main clause by a comma. This type of non-defining relative clause adds information or a comment that applies to the first clause, but it is not essential information. That cannot be used to begin a non-defining relative clause. For example, laptop computers are easy to carry, which is why many people travel with one. People enjoy playing video games which means new software titles come out all the time. If you notice, these clauses make a comment on the complete sentence as opposed to commenting on just the noun. To finish up, type three sentences. My roommate is a slob, which is why I want to get my own apartment. Non-defining relative clauses. Okay, so listen. The difference between defining and non-defining is if the information you're giving is essential or not. Okay. I have a stomach ache. That's why I want to buy Petovismo. 
Is my information essential? No. I guess not. Yeah, because why do you want to buy uh why do you want to buy pet turismo? Because I have a stomach ache. You have a stomach. Well, you know, it, it's a matter of opinion, but it if you think it's essential or if it's just information, look what it says here. Non-defined clauses are sentence modifiers. You can you know, let's go back more. Clauses with which to make a comment. I have three. My roommate is a slob, which is why I want to get my own apartment. Liars. In these relative clauses, the relative pronoun which refers not to a particular noun, but to the whole idea in the main clause. So when you use which is to present an idea. I went to her house and she has a lot of cat food, which means she has cats. Maybe I didn't see cats, but I saw cat food. Non-defining yeah. relative clauses are always the second clause in a two-clause sentence. Because these clauses are non-defining, they are set off from the main clause by a comma. This type of non-defining relative clause adds information or a comment that applies to the first clause but it is not essential information. Okay, so let's listen to this. So then the second part after the comma adds information about the first sentence, but it's not essential. Example. Who can give me an example? Mm -hmm. um. mm -hmm. Of non-defining, right? Which means I feel yes. Okay, I'm going. I'm. I'm going to see the sentence. Let me see. Uh, Pupusas are are cheap. Which mean I will buy. Um, I will buy a lot of tonight. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Which which means okay. Which is why. Okay, which is why? Yeah. Like I can say pupusas are cheap, which is why I invited my wife yesterday to eat on yes. Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or most of people get them frequently. Uh, you don't think it uh, yeah. sounds better? That, that's why I bought three yesterday. You can say that too. Yes, it sounds better. Good, yeah. Eduardo? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, Guillermo. Mm -hmm. Elections are coming in El Salvador. You drive, correct, Guillermo? Yep, I do. Okay, have you seen all the streets in this moment? You see yeah, all the spaces? Yeah. Who the hell are all these yeah. people? A lot of propaganda. Yeah, so elections are coming soon. Can you finish? Give me non-essential information. Let's see. Which is why we can see many posters. A lot of propaganda. Yeah, a lot of propaganda. Propaganda is the in same the in English? Yes. Yep. Okay. You know what is propaganda? What is the difference between propaganda and publicity? Propaganda is for uh, political political use. It's for political uh, use, uh huh. Yes, it's for political and religion use only. Okay. Religion. Okay. Yep. You hear some people saying, "Mira, le está haciendo propaganda a la coca." That's really not correct. That's publicity. Publicity. Yeah. A la Coca Cola, right? <laughs> no, no, otra cosa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, some people say, "Hey, that's." That you, you're doing propaganda for Coca-Cola. No, that's publicity. Yeah, but, publicity. But mean, mean, that means the same. Both it's the are. same. It's the same. But I don't know why propaganda is only used for... for um, Political and, you, and religious. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
yes. Maybe because uh, propaganda is like indirect and, and, and publicity is direct. I don't know. I don't know if in Spanish is the same, is it? Mm -hmm. Just to like it. I think that we, we use both words with the same yeah. or very similar. Yeah. In Spanish. Yeah, in Spanish. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. All right, but in English is politics and religion and the rest. All right, like when you watch a movie, you know, like suddenly every car in that movie is a Chevrolet. Yeah. Uh, that's publicity. Mm. Okay. Uh, next, let me see. Let me see. Janira, hi. Hi, teacher. How are you? Tired, but I'm fine. All right. Janira, finish my sentence. Kias are good cars. Are good, cheap Maybe. cars. What is yes? Kia, Kia Rio, Kia. Kia, Kia, oh, Kia. 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 A brand. So it's a brand. Oh, okay. So Kia are good and cheaper. Cheaper are, cars are, are good and uh, yeah, they're cheap and they're good cars. Which is why I prefer to buy that kind of car. Good. Or which is why almost out of 10 cars that you see in the street, seven are Kias. Okay. Yeah, Have you right. noticed now it's only Kia or Hyundai? Kia or Hyundai? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, it doesn't give a lot of problem because I have a Kia and it don't give me a lot of problems. Me too, me too. I have a Kia and, and I'm good. You know that in the United States, Toyota, it's media gamma. Yes. Yes. Toyota in the United States is like Kia in El Salvador. Oh. It's not like an expensive. No. It's not like upper class, it's like middle class. And in El Salvador, oh. Toyota is like, what? Oh, Toyota. It's, yeah, they are expensive. Oh, you have a Toyota. Mm -hmm. And what about Mitsubishi, teacher? They're good. Mm, okay. Um, yeah, the only cars, I don't know. I, I think every car is good. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, but the only ones I always hear bad about is Ford Focus. Focus, I think. Yeah, but Ford Focus. Yes. Focus. Ford. No, Ford. No, Festiva. No, Ford. I don't know, but there's one, but then again, people say yes. Fiesta. Fiesta. I had, I had a Monza, a Chevy Monza. Oh. And everybody Ooh. told me that car is terrible. That car is bad. bad. That car for me, that car cloned gasoline. I don't know what it was, but I, for one moment, I thought that the, the, the needle was not working in my, working <laughs> In my gasoline because it, it never went down. <laughs> I told my <laughs> wife, you know, I'm thinking about buying a reserve tank. She says, why? Because the, the gasoline never goes down. So maybe it's broken. But no, that car was very good. <laughs> I would I would recommend somebody to buy a Chevy Monza. I mean, somebody who has, what, a $2,000, $2,500 budget? Okay. You understand what budget is, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, if people say, hey, I only have a $3,000 budget. What can I buy with that? You say, go look for a month. Well, if you're single, you know, you're young, you know, you just want the car for the university or work. So you don't buy a Chevy Monza. Chevy Monza. Have you have you seen that sometimes there are people selling Toyotas that sales like from 1993? 
at five thousand yeah. dollars. Pretty, Pretty expensive. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, said, <laughs> I mean, come on, man, five thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> with five thousand dollars you can buy a corolla nine 2015 why would somebody buy a a tercel 93 for five thousand dollars <laughs> which there are good cars they are very good cars but they are not five thousand dollars anymore no i don't know no absolutely you know have you seen lately when you drive that i see a lot of guatemala license plates Oh, yes. It's like people are buying cars in Guatemala now. I think. Actually, they, they, the people who are selling those are cars here, cheap. they sell them cheaper. Yeah, because they yes. have just the license plate from Guatemala. But I think that they need to cross the, the, the border uh, from time to time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they need to okay. get the license plate from El Salvador. Okay. Yeah, so that's a problem. It's good yeah, if you live problem. if you live like in Metapang or or. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's see. Let's go with next. Knowledge check. I want to give all my old books. I want to give away all my old books. Do you understand what is giveaway? Yeah. Yes. To keep? Yeah, it's like give for free. I want to give away. Ah. Yes, there's a difference. I want to give you something. And when you say I want to give away all my clothes, you understand this? Give away all my clothes for free. Okay. So I want to give away all my old books. I what did you put? In the last one. Yes, I uh, which means I, I have to get boxes for them. Good. I have locked my. I'm sorry. I have locked my keys in my car. Oh, that's which not good. is why which you saw me opening saw me it up with, with a box hanger. hanger. I have that little bag that pumps. Mm -hmm. That uh -huh. Really? Doors. Yes. Really? <laughs> very useful. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're very, very useful. Because one time that happened to me, and um, I had to call a locksmith. Así se llama cerrajero. Locksmith. Locksmith. I don't know what okay. smith. It's just the name. <laughs> <laughs> and he came, and he put that little bag inside. Yeah. Yeah, that's oh. right. And he opened it. My cousin sells them. <laughs> yeah, he he brought some. I, I, Santi. Santi. Uh, oh, and he charged me like twenty two dollars just for doing that. Yes. Like that. <laughs> okay. Next, we have. I'm going to repaint my room next week. Mm -hmm. Which is why you saw me opening. Why? Which is I why I have all newspapers. newspapers. Uh, uh, both for one. Above, above. Number four, 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 four. Yes. yes. All right. My son made a robot custom for himself. Which is why he was covered in aluminum foil. Aluminum yesterday. foil yesterday. Uh, the, the other one, that one. This is this one. This one, right? Yeah, yeah, that one. Our neighbor saves her empty jars for my dad. Uh, Which is great. And number Seems two, he uses. He uses them to yes. He uses them to store nails and things. The second one. I am at that age. I am at that age that I, I use everything. Like, you know, if something breaks, like let's say a speaker breaks, I don't throw it away. I start taking the things inside and I save them. <laughs> and my wife says, why? Because someday, you know, we might need this little 
important thing, you know. So when I look, I have a lot of things that I don't I don't really use. But I say you can sell them. No, because sometimes it's it, but you know, like, oh, I need that. And I have everything. Oh. Yeah. But it's bad because <laughs> me vecinos, they come to me for everything. What was that? Sorry, my phone. <laughs> <laughs> my neighbors, my neighbors come to me for everything. David, can I borrow this? David, can I borrow that? David, can I borrow that? My new cell phone can store and play music. Which is well, great. It's a strange since cassettes and CDs. Because I can listen to it while I'm on the subway. The third one. Ah, yes. It's easy to get lost when driving in a new city. Why personal navigation systems were developed for cars? Yes. Do you know how this system works? How do you know when you are in an avenue or a street? Do you know how that works? Not really. All right. Don't. All right. You mean the GPS system or? No, no, like, you know, why, why is La Quinta acá y La Cuarta allá, oh. the avenues? Do you know how they work? No. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, I'm going to explain that to you. Uh, El Salvador or many places, you know, we were conquered by Spaniards, correct? Yes. 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 So we adopted their, their traditions. Yes. Have you noticed when you go to a pueblo, in front of the church, there all there is always a park. Yes. And yes. then the city yes. hall. Yes. 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 That's that's ground zero. Yes, that is at the center. Yes. And you come the streets, eh, a partir de ahí. Yes. But like, mm -hmm. okay, imagine, imagine I am, you see my camera, right? Do you see me? Okay. Yes. So yes. Imagine my hand is Catedral. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. San Salvador. I am in Catedral. I am in front of Catedral. So the first street to my left, from north to south, everything okay. from north to south are avenues. So, and it goes uneven numbers. So the first street is the first avenue. Okay. La otra is the third avenue. Third, fifth. Fifth, sixth, yes. And then it's, you know, yeah. if it's north or south. And then from west mm -hmm. to east is streets. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if I am back in Catedral, now I go to my right. And then the first street to my right is second avenue. And that's how it works. Okay. So like if one day you have to go to Santa Ana to a job interview, and in La Cuarta Avenida Sur, you're like, what the hell? I, I don't know Santa Ana. But, mm -hmm. you know, but you get an idea. Okay. You just tell people, excuse me, where's Catedral? <laughs> oh, it's there. Okay. Cuarta Avenida Sur. So that's two streets mm, to my right. I mean, to get the idea, right? Yes. But now, like Guillermo says, we have GPS. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> have you ever used uh, Google Maps? Yes. Uh, very Amazing. reliable, but we have them at least. Goise. Or Waze. Waze, Waze. Okay, next, number eight. Adam still needs, I'm sorry, Adam still listens to music. Uh, on an old-fashioned record player. Daddy, which is strange, strange. that says that we have been around for so long, you. Do you remember, oh, where's Gary? Gary, do you remember Producciones Van? No. 
don't remember that? No. Those cassettes. <laughs> the cassettes that, you know, the no originales. <laughs> uh -huh. The cassettes they sold, you know, hey, dinero de silencio, yeah. I mean, pero eran chafas. Y siempre eran producciones bajas. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh my God, now I feel older. <laughs> mm. No, I, I did First use, part. I did use cassette. <laughs> and also long play because my, my father loves to, to, to play them. And he oh. has, he had something to play long play. Does he still yes. play long plays now? No, he passed away. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, but have you noticed that now long plays are back? Yes. Really? Yeah. Yes, I didn't know new. that. I have a lot. They are new, new ones. Yeah, like people, it's it's like back now. People are you know are starting to buy um, long play records. Long plays, I go. Yes. Oh. And in fact, even groups before the pandemic, they were taking out their albums in long play again. That's cool. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. I like, I like the sound of long play. They have very special sound. Yes. Yeah. You know, the, the cassette, I remember, is Super Sonido. <laughs> yeah, those, uh -huh. Super Sonido. Uh -huh. Pero, remember how they did, like, the songs, like, shh. Everybody needs a little time away. <laughs> yeah, but it must have been love. <laughs> yeah. And then, <laughs> production is fine. <laughs> they, never, they never let the complete song. They always like, wait, they hang on. Okay, um, listening. Let's listen to this. Yes. Or, and then choose the correct answers. Okay, let's go on ahead. Our technology report this evening is on making the world a smaller place. Linda? Thanks, Ted. These days, with college students studying in different cities or even abroad, families spread all over the world, and even more office employees working with overseas companies, people are looking for better ways to communicate with each other. Many people already use video calling with family, friends, and business associates, and as this technology continues to improve, even more people will be using this helpful communication tool. It used to be that video calling meant seeing unclear faces, hearing bad audio, and losing the internet connection. Now, the images are sharp, the sound is clear, and people stay connected for the entire call. People can communicate with each other as if they were in the same room, even though they are in faraway places. Additionally, video calling isn't just for computers. Many people are using video calling apps with their smartphones, making it even easier to connect anywhere, anytime. With this technology, the world gets smaller and smaller. Don't you think that's a good thing, Ted? I sure do. Thanks, Linda. This has been our technology report. All right. Did you hear the story? Yes. Yep. Okay, so the woman says that more people blank to communicate online. Or using video calling. Or using video calling. Hey. More people are able to use video calling because the software mm -hmm. has, been has been improved. The software has been improved. Older video calling had problems such as unclear audio. Unclear audio. <laughs> Today's video calling feature 
Mirda. Your sound. Your sound. Mirda Tivich. Your sound and pitch. All right, next part, it says uh, number two. Listen to a student talk with her career counselor, then check it, check true or false. Do you know what is a career counselor? No teacher, I don't know. That's too bad because that does not exist here. I was about to say that. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe like in call centers, I think it does exist. Um, well. Depending on the call center, but. Yeah, depending on the call center. Sure. Because yeah. they tell you when you go in a call center, like let's say uh, uh, from personal experience, I'll tell you, tell us. When you go in, you have a career counselor. And then they ask you, like, for example, Brian, what do you want to be here? What career are you looking for? Do you want to be an agent? Do you want to be a trainer? Do you want to be a teacher? Do you want to work in operations or do you want to work in staff? Because, you know, there's call centers. It's not just um, calls, you know. And then, and then Brian okay. says, okay, I want to make my career here in human resources. Okay, then they tell you, but obviously you start on the telephone, you know, but then they okay. tell you, you know, okay, then I recommend you to do this, this, and when an opportunity comes um, in your free time, go to human resources, talk to them, ask them questions, you know, so when the opportunity opens, you apply and maybe you get the job as career counselor. Creo que aquí lo más cercano es que uno no sabe que quiere estudiar en la universidad y en, en bachillerato les hace un examen. Yeah. Yes. The, uh, I don't remember. actitud. De actitud. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Supuestamente la persona que le hace eso es your career counselor. Consejera. Okay. Uh, by psychology. Yeah, psychologist. Well, human resources, actually. Human. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's listen. Hi, Jenny. Please sit down. What can I do for you today? Well, I'm graduating soon, and I just can't seem to choose a career path to follow. I'm interested in so many things. That's a good thing. It means you have more choices. Now, I know that you're a person who is disciplined and motivated. Am I right? Yes. I like to work, and I'm good at budgeting my time. And let's see. You studied history and politics. Good. What about extracurricular activities? Well, I wrote some articles for the college newspaper, and last summer I volunteered at an archaeological site. That was fascinating. What did you do exactly? I helped tag the items that were found and enter them into a computer database. There was a lot of information to organize. So you are someone who is organized. Great. And you have a lot of patience. Yes, I would say so. An archaeological dig is not very exciting. It's interesting, but there's a lot of waiting and watching. Well, Jenny, have you considered being a reporter? You seem to enjoy writing, and your background matches up very well. I did enjoy writing for the college newspaper, but do you think I have the right qualities? Reporters need to be disciplined and motivated, like you. And your background in history and politics means you're informed about the world around you. Hmm, it seems like a good idea. I think you'd make an excellent reporter, and I have the names of a few local reporters for you to contact. You could talk to a few of them and maybe spend a day with one of them. You know, see what it's like. That sounds great. I'd love to do that. Here you go, and good luck. Keep me posted on your progress, okay? Okay, thanks. All righty, so number one, Jenny is disciplined and motivated to work. True or false? True. Yep, true. true. Mm -hmm. Jenny true. majored in history and politics. Mm -hmm. False. 
falls, okay? Jenny has never written for a newspaper before. Oh. 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 Jenny thinks archaeology is exciting. True. True. Her counselor wants her to try news reporting. True. 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 All right, we're 20 for 20 points. Okay, the next one it says, in the future, um, the instructions, complete the sentences with the passive of the verbs, of the verbs in parentheses. Just type in the verbs in its correct form. No capital letter or period is needed. Number one. In the future, more online courses flanked by people with busy schedules. Uh, will be taken? No. Yes. Will be taken. Number two, I can't shut down my computer until my files have been downloaded. Have been downloaded. Have been downloaded. Or have downloaded, but okay, the two are correct, but let's have, have been downloaded, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh -huh. Downloaded. Have been downloaded. These days, chat rooms blanked by universities to host student discussions. Are used? Are used? Okay. Mm, no. 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 Are being used? Being, are being used. Are being used. Being. Yeah, let's Do try it. are being used. Sam blank his dream job at an internet spamming company. Has been offered. Sam has offered. Has been. Has, has been, been offered. Has, has been. Yes. When I buy a new laptop, my old one blank recycled. Uh, have have been will, recycled or will be, will recycled. be recycled because he's yes. saying it's going when? to be recycled really? it's in the future yeah since blogging software became available millions of blogs plan create have been created The first one is one. Which which one? The first one. What is? Oh, the I don't know if there is more than one correct answer. What is your answer? Are going to be taken. Are going to. Be, you see, but the two are future. So okay. if it's wrong here, don't worry. But you were right. <laughs> that's that's the <laughs> only. Thing. But the platform only accepts. No, it's correct. Okay, so yes, both are correct. correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, both are correct. Great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tag questions. Remember, hmm. it would be great if someone figured out how to eliminate spam. Did you do this class? Yes. Yes. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It seems like kids spend way too much money playing computer games. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? Those... Don't forget the question mark. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Those informations on TV are so annoying. RMJ? Yes. RMJ? Flyers aren't good for advertising. Are, are they? Are they? I hate getting spams. You? 
Don't I? You forgot the Don't question you. mark in the first one. Don't you? Yeah, the first one, the question. Don't you just. Don't you forget about me. I'll be alone dancing. You remember that song? It's a very old song. Okay, part two, instructions. Rewrite the sentences using reduced relative clauses. Remember to use capital letters and periods. A person who's willing to work with sick people could be a good nurse. I think the five has uh, one more end. Did, did anyone have problems with this? Oh. <clears throat> Here's the, here are the correct some. answers. Yeah. Well, good, we're here. So number one, it says. A person, a person willing. Uh-huh, a person willing. Yes, number one would be a person willing to work with sick people could be a good nurse. Mm -hmm. Or person willing to work with sick people could be a good nurse. Okay, number two. Yes. Someone who's looking for paid vacation shouldn't be a small business owner. Someone looking for pay for vacation to, to drop who? Small business owner. Right What's there. the difference? Someone looking for pay vacation shouldn't be. I don't know what's the difference between the two. Ones. To eliminate who? It's the same, right? Yeah. Okay, vacation shouldn't be as well. Yes, yeah, the same. It's the same, yeah. Number three, anyone who has a good voice is invited to audition for the core. Anyone with a good voice. Yeah, I forgot to put the A in that I got it wrong. Anyone with a good voice mm. is invited to audition for the core. Anyone with a good voice is invited to audition okay. for the core. Number five, it says someone who is interested in art history might love it to, might love to work in a museum. The correct so, answer? Uh, Someone interested in art history might love to work in a museum. Yeah, See, mm -hmm. who would have imagined that love would be the, yeah. on, the, on the platform? <laughs> All right, and let's submit. Oh yeah, I didn't write those. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, and yes, tomorrow we're going to continue with D, okay? Okay, okay. Sure. so maybe hopefully tomorrow we can finish the whole lesson four. So number um, on Friday we can do activity, we can do music comprehension. We can, you know, we can have a uh, a day for activities. Okay. 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 Thank you, okay, Mister. All right, class. Thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye -bye. Have a nice please, Wednesday. Please have a nice. Yes. <laughs> okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. Bye. Good, good night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> bugs bite. Bed bugs. What? Um, bugs bite. ¿Cómo se llaman las? La, no son garrapatas, pero la, las que andan en la cama, que son, que pican. Ácaros. Um, Ácaros. Bueno, en inglés se llaman bed bugs. Bed bugs. Mm. Bug okay. is, is un insecto. Bed yeah. bug. Entonces el dicho okay. es Good night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay I, there's two. Thank you. Bye -bye. See you. Take care.